All right, friends, we're going to start on the next project. So this is using page two from the Edith Holden book. And the first thing we're going to do is cut off. This is to make a tall tag. We're going to cut off a strip. <clears throat> goodness. Um, from this edge. So I don't really have a measurement, but what I want you to do is just leave a smidge next to this bird. Okay, and I feel like that's pretty straight. Now, in order to make this just a little bit more um, substantial, give it a little more body, I'm going to find a piece of paper, because there's always paper around here. Holy Toledo, there's no paper. I do with the paper. All right. Just big enough. Not quite big enough. You grab another file. Nothing like being prepared. Okay. So what I'm going to do. glue this on to this piece of file folder. Normally I would have used a scrap, but I don't seem to have any scraps handy, which is just bizarre. At least none that are long enough. And then I will cut this out. And I want it exactly two inches wide. So that will be taking off a whisker from that side. I'll be furious. Okay, that's a tag. Um, you can leave it like that. But what I'm going to do is I happen to have this. Uh, it's um, it's from Hobby Lobby, the paper studio. So this cuts the top of everything from one and a half inches to two and a half inches. So because ours is two, I put it in the two inch slot, give it a punch, and perfection. Um, I also am going to round the corners using my We Are Memory Keepers, what is this, a chomper or something like that, corner chomper? Uh, I'm going to use the quarter inch just to sort of give that a little bit of roundy. Okay. Uh, we need ink. We never not need ink. Tags, you can make these a mile a minute. I could have uh, glued the page to, uh, a, sorry, I could have glued the whole page to the file folder and just cut multiple strips. Um, and made a whole whack of tags, like, uh, yeah, here, I made these tags. J 
just by uh, gluing, this one's a little wider, but by gluing the page right down and then uh, cutting it into strips. And each one individually is quite pretty. This one's a little wider because I wanted to make sure I got all the words. And the butterfly. They don't have to be this tall. I mean, we could have cut it off here. We could have cut it off here. But for this project, it's a tall tag. And like I said, at any point, you can just stop working on this tag. If you like it the way it is, stop. Um, we're going to take it to the next level together. Bit of a rough spot here. I'm going to trim if I can get my scissors out under my lamp. We had snow yesterday. I'm not happy. Um, my son came over last night, did his laundry, we had dinner. Um, I want to put some reinforcements here. I used to have a punch. I can't find that punch. But um, these paper reinforcements are just as effective and easier to use. And I'll show you why. So I, I could, I've already inked some up in the brown shade, and that's what I used on, on, on the, these tags, but I'm going to use a different color if I can lay my hands to it quickly. Okay. I think this is the one I want. This is called Hickory Smoke. It's a silvery color. Whoop. Could carry away there, Nancy. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I like that. Yep, that's pretty. Oops. I have some gray seam binding, but I'm going to do some stitches first. So let's just hold on. So I've done some stitching around the edges. That's what that looks like. And now we're going to add a little bit of seam binding, if I can find the end of it. So I'm going to cut a piece about a foot long, give or take, fold it in half, front to back, and then I'm going to just tie a little bow at the top. So 
that is a tall tag. Um, the next episode in this series, we're going to make uh, a pocket with a twist to fit the tall tag into. So, thanks so much for watching this tutorial. I, um, we're going to come back in the next one and continue using our Edith Holden pages. In the meantime, take care. Have a great day.